Okay. Had a chance to work on your design, and this is a design that I kind of kept looking at um, as a potential good option for you. There's probably some other options, but um, keeping the stove in this area is still kind of tight uh, tight to the window particularly um, so I ended up moving it over here obviously and then getting uh, putting the refrigerator over here this um, by doing this you really don't have I don't see a big benefit of removing this wall particularly you can still toy with the idea of removing this wall but I'm not sure if that would gain you much. Um, then I've added an island, as you can see. This island's 21 inches deep. I think you had tape on the floor, and that was set up at 24 inches deep. So I think this might work. And then uh, I this is 12 inch deep storage, but down here in the base it's 24 inch deep storage, and it kind of sneaks into the uh, breakfast nook area only by 12 inches though so you get the benefit of having some pantry storage this is where your canned goods can, would go you could certain certainly put liquor bottles in or wine bottles in the top part of the pantry and then do some serving here because you have a nice work surface here this cabinet here would uh, do a number of different things here but uh, I could also shorten this cabinet. Right now it's 24 inches deep. I can make this 21. But this has a drawer, two doors, and I've put roll-out trays at the bottom of this cabinet. The island cabinets are the same. It has a drawer on top, drawer on top, two doors, and then roll-out trays in each of these, these cabinets. And I like to have a bank of drawers next to the stove. Or various uh, cooking utensils and we have a super Susan in the corner here probably the best thing for a corner then you get your microwave over the rain over the range keeps it off the countertop we have a dishwasher sink base this would be a double pull out trash right here and I've built, given the uh, refrigerator more of a built-in look by adding a refrigerator panel, cabinet above the refrigerator, you can see the various wall cabinets too. Of course crown molding to the ceiling. The idea would be to vent your microwave up and out this way. So basically, the ductwork would go on top of these wall cabinets and then exit this wall here. and I've given myself about six inches of space to do that. Now if you don't want to vent the stove, then I can make these cabinets taller. Right now they're at 33 inches high. I would go up to the next height, which is 36 inches high. Then this pantry would end up being, uh, would change from 84 inches high to 90 inches high. So it all depends on what you like to look at because you can see where my mouse pointer is. That's a pretty good sized fascia, but I can narrow that down by making a making the crown molding bigger. This crown molding here is about I think it's three and an eighth inches tall.
but a lot of folks like to vent their stove outside. And obviously we can add some more decorative items. Some folks like to have door styles on the uh, on the non-working side of the island and maybe this buffet area as well. Um, we can certainly add that later. But this is one of the options I'm working on. If you'd like to explore another option, then I would invite you in my office and we can do that on the fly, I would say.